The Employment Standard is part of the Integrated Accessibility Standards Regulation of the Accessibility for Ontarians with Disabilities Act 2005. This standard helps employers make their employment practices and workplaces more accessible to potential and existing employees with disabilities. This video deals with one of the requirements of the Employment Standard. The Human Resources Professionals Association, HRPA, presents In this exciting episode Harold Jeepers in developing and documenting individual accommodation plans Harold sits at his desk, neatly arranging three pens in a perfect row, then straightening and opening his notebook This is Harold Standing outside an employee's cubicle, Harold gives a thumbs up he has just landed a manager's job at Jiffy Brothers Industries. Back at his desk, Harold opens a greeting card, which reads, Harold, good luck at your new job, love, Mona. This is Sonia. Waving from Harold's doorway, Sonia startles Harold. She is Jiffy Brothers' go-to HR person and a certified human resources professional. Together, they are helping Jiffy Brothers make their employment practices and workplace more accessible. This will give them the advantage in recruiting and keeping the best talent. Harold and Sonia give a thumbs up to the camera. They are now discussing the process for developing and documenting individual accommodation plans. There are 10 areas to consider. Number 1. Let all employees know about the process. It is the employee who must initiate a request for accommodation. A company employee is working at his computer. A large poster drops abruptly from the ceiling and appears in front of him. The words on the poster say, Drop by if you need to talk about an accommodation plan. Signed, Harold. After Harold communicated to the company, Mary contacted Harold and wanted to talk about her mental health disability. Two others also came forward. Chuck, whose rheumatoid arthritis is getting worse, and Barry, who recently suffered a loss of vision in one eye. Number 2. Harold discusses the manner in which any employee requesting accommodation will participate in the development of their individual accommodation plan. Number 3. Each request for an individual accommodation plan is dealt with on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Number 4. At the employer's expense, an employer can request evaluation by an outside medical or other expert to determine if and or how accommodation can be achieved. Number 5. An employee can ask for the participation of a representative from their union, if any, or if there is no union, any representative from the workplace. Number 6. At all times, the privacy of the employee around workplace accommodation is protected. Number 7. The manager and employee determine when the workplace accommodation is reviewed and updated. Number 8. An employer can deny a workplace accommodation, subject to the requirements of the Employment Standard and the Human Rights Code. Number 9. The accommodation plan must be provided in a format that takes into account the employee's disability. Number 10. The workplace accommodation plan must also include the employee's emergency response information, if required. Harold and Sonia meet back in Harold's office. Sonia asks, how did it go? Harold responds by saying, I think it went well. Posters drop from the ceiling. Harold and Sonia see the words on the posters which say, thanks and thank you. Harold and Sonia look at one another, smile, and high-five. Additional posters drop from the ceiling over the cubicles of the office employees, with the words thanks and thank you. You have been watching Developing and Documenting Individual Accommodation Plans. The story you have just seen is real, but the names have been changed to protect them from telemarketers. To learn more and download free tools and resources, go to ontario.ca slash access on.
This video is part of HRPA's Enabling Change Partnership Project with the Government of Ontario. Special thanks to LinkUp Employment Services for Persons with Disabilities for connecting us to their employees and clients as cast members. www.linkup.ca Produced by Keyring Media. www.keyringmedia.com